Hey everybody, who likes controversial knife reviews? I do, yay! Hello there, Mannix here, gonna be doing a knife review on... Oh yes, the infamous Gonzo. Ugh, ugly smudges on there. The infamous company Gonzo. Or Ganzo. I'm gonna call him Gonzo. I know a lot of people, it's called Ganzo. I don't care, I'm pronouncing it Gonzo. Anyway, yeah, it's... And I'm being sarcastic, sorry about that, I didn't mean to yell at you. Uh, so, why are these controversial? It's because Gonzo tends to take a lot of knives that have very, they're already renowned, already well known, they, and they basically just kind of rip off the design, for lack of a better term. You could just call it influence, you could call it, you know, it, it's kind of like what Sog did with their Sogzilla, very similar to the Endura, but you can't exactly say it's a copy of it. It's not quite the same, but it's close enough to the point where, like, look, I know what you're trying to do, guys, I know. What I like about these knives, though, is that you get a design that's been proven that works very well, that's really cool, it's really awesome, and it's liked for a good reason, and you get it for a way cheaper price because they use cheaper materials. But they use the axis lock on these guys, and everyone loves the axis lock. They're very fast, they're fun to play with, they're strong, it's just, they're awesome. So, this knife is, a lot of people consider it to be a blatant copy of the Lion Steel knives, which I think are like $200 knives, they're up there, they're higher quality knives. Uh, I think they're made in Italy, something like that, I can't remember, but it, the design is extremely similar. That wide drop point blade, the fat handle, the ergonomics of it generally. The Lion Steels, I believe, are frame locks, though, and this they have an axis lock on here. Different materials, so it's way cheaper. You can get these for around 20 bucks, sometimes 25 bucks. Sometimes on their websites, you'll find it for like $17, so it could be a sub-$20 knife. That's insanely cheap for what you're getting, and Gonzo has some of the greatest cheap knives ever, and look, I'm, I'm trying to leave all the controversy out of it, all the politics, and a lot of people get upset because it's, you know, they think they're copying designs, and oh my god, they're the integrity, and this and that, but, you know, the thing is, from what I noticed, most people who complain about, you know, integrity, and, you know, worrying about knife companies stealing other designs, generally speaking, they're just, I don't know, they're people who actually don't care, they're people who are more just butthurt because they spent a lot of money on a knife, and they don't want to see, so like, they can't stand to see somebody spending way, way less, like 10 times lower of a price on a knife and enjoying it just as much, if not more, than their knife. And they get mad, and so they bring out, they pull out the whole politics card, and like, oh, you, they're stealing designs, screw you, you're ruining the economy, and you're, you have no integrity, and you're this and that, blah, blah, blah. It's like, and they, they, they type that on their phone that was made over in Taiwan, which copied designs of other phones anyway. <laughs> so it's like, I don't know, to me, it's just kind of silly to me when people get upset over that. But I'm not saying you shouldn't get upset over it. I'm not saying there isn't a genuine reason to get upset over it. It's just, it's just kind of funny to me. People are very hypocritical in that sense. They only get upset over knives, but nothing else. They, they watch stuff on their TVs made overseas that are rip-off designs of other TVs, and they watch... I don't know, everything on their phone, their computer, it's, it's just funny to me. There's no issue with that, but but when it's a knife, all of a sudden it's a problem now, and you're the worst person in the world for buying a knife. It's it's silly to me, but yeah, I do understand when it comes to integrity. Like if, I may, if I was a knife designer, I wouldn't want a company uh, copying my knife, but that, that's kind of just how the industry works. This isn't a counterfeit. It's not saying, hey, it's a lion steel, you should buy it. No, it's not. It's not even claiming to be anything close to a lion steel at all. They call it the G720. It's their own... No, G720G, rather. That's the green one. They have different colors. I think of the orange, and I'll roll in some other pictures. But, I don't know. It, it's, they're not claiming it to be anything it's not. It just so happens to be very, very, very close to another design. And, hey, I stay out of the politics. Yeah, I understand. You shouldn't copy designs, whatever, blah, blah, blah. It's just, it's a cool knife. It's a functional knife. It's got the access lock on there. It's a very cheap knife. It's just, there's, like, almost nothing to complain about this knife on its own for its price point. Now disregard the whole lion steel thing. Get that out of the picture. Get it out of the question. Let's just look at the knife for what it is. How about that? Let's just do a review on that. And that's what this review is going to be. If you don't like how they're copying the design, well, I'm sorry, but the review is just going to be on how they executed this knife, and that's all it is. Now for all of you who don't know about the controversy, you don't know about lion steel, you're a little bit newer to knives maybe, uh, just ignore everything I said right there. <laughs> so anyway, let's begin with the review. So let's go on with the specs. The blade length on this website it's saying is 3.54 inches, the width is 1.26 inches, so it is a wide knife, wide blade right there. It says fold length, I guess that means handle length is 4.72 inches. The overall length is 8.27 inches, kind of a chunky monkey, bigger knife, I would, I would classify it as a medium large folder as far as its size goes. We have G10 handle scales right here, very awesome. We have full, unskeletonized steel liners in there, so it's a heavier knife. We have a G10, uh, not, uh, sorry, uh, uh, I think that's G10, is that G10? I think that's a G10 backspacer right there. It almost has like a rubbery feel to it, I like it. I like this texturing. It's not overly grippy, but it is grippy enough. 
G10, generally speaking, is a grippy material. I like this pocket clip. It's a loop over clip, and it is swappable to the left side right there. But it's got, an, like, it's got a funky, weird kind of... It's not a regular screw. You'd have to get like some arbitrary tool to swap that around. But for most of us, we are right-handed, and most of us prefer tip-up carry for many, many reasons. So I'm glad it's in that orientation by default. We have a little lanyard hole right there. That's cool. Like I said, access lock, we'll talk about that more in the video. We have a little bit of jimping right here, even though it basically doesn't do anything, it's still cool. And then we have perfectly made thumb studs, cylindrical, fat cylindrical thumb studs, but with a little bit of tapering on the top, perfect, that's how you do thumb studs. Big old wide blade, meant to do, you know, performing stronger, bigger, heavier tasks, I guess. And it is a 440C, as it says right there, 440C, and it is the G720G, the G standing for green. But the name of the model says G720. So the ergos on this are very good. Very, very good handle right there. It just matches your hand pretty much perfectly. We have a little cant right here in the handle. And then you match up on the thumb ramp right there. Really cool blade. I'm not super into the looks that much, but it is a cool big old wide knife. We got a guard there, you can see. And again, the texturing on the handle is great. 440C, it's heat treated pretty well. It's it's very sharp out of the box. You can get it a little sharper, I think. It lasts a decent amount of time, not forever. Again, cheaper blade steel, what do you you know, what do you expect? If you want this knife to have an even better blade steel, then it's gonna even last longer. So you can cut all the cardboard you want in your room, then you're gonna be spending more 60, 70, 80 bucks. But for about 20 bucks, it's more than adequate. Absolutely amazing. Amazing knife for the money. Axis lock on here. Outstanding, outstanding locking mechanism because not only is it fast and pretty strong, but you can also do this with it. Open one hand tricks. Just fun to play with for such a big old wide knife too. Pot clip is good. The texturing is a little annoying under it, but the biggest issue I have with it is just the fact that I don't. It's it's sharp right here. It's like a and it's loop over, so it's really gonna be. You're barely gonna see anything out of the pocket, so it's very very secretive. But holding it, it's not very comfortable. Um, I don't know what it is. I just, I don't know why, it's just this pot clip, it's not comfortable in hand, I feel it on my pinky, and my ring finger is actually okay, it's, it matches that little loop right there, but pinky and this portion of my hand is not comfortable, if I was using this a lot, it would eventually just start rubbing at my hand, getting uncomfortable, it's not going to kill you or anything, but it's, I don't like that, it's, they could have done better with the pocket clip, I think, but everything else is executed perfectly, it's, it's kind of a shorter review, because there's nothing really I have bad to say about it, it's basically just a really good knife, a big old fat wide knife for harder work, Access lock is amazing. It's what probably my favorite lock out there is the access lock. I'm glad they put it on this thing. Fairly comfortable. Not the best ergos. I would give it like an 8.5 out of 10 because it's so cheap. For that money, you're, I've been using this knife for maybe two years on and off carrying, flicking open and close all the time. It still has a rock solid lockup. A little bit of side to side. I could adjust that out though, but the up and down, nothing. Side to side moves though. So, yeah, that is the Gonzo G720. Again, comes in different colors. Disregarding any controversies surrounding the knife, it's a very good knife for the money, and that's basically the end of the review right there. See ya.